originally had a need to visit Portland, Oregon, and I needed an Airbnb, so I stayed at this uh, interesting Airbnb hosted by uh, V. I always butcher names, so I'll just go with V here. This Airbnb is hosted in the West Hills of Portland, Oregon. It is actually really conveniently located close to the city, but not in the city, in a nice wooded area. There is a very detailed description of the Airbnb, and I will heartily recommend you read the full description. Because it's a nice place, it's a little different than your average Airbnb, so read the description and watch the rest of this video. In summary though, if you're looking for a place to hang out close to Portland, but not in the city, a quiet place, but close enough that it's a cheap Uber in and go enjoy the city, this is a great place to hang out. If you're going for work, maybe not the best place to hang out, and I'll explain why. Here is a primary reason why this is not the best for work. 10 down, 5 up, you can stream Hulu, Netflix, watch TV to your heart's content on this just fine. But if you're looking to get some hardcore work done where you're uploading and downloading uh, images, checking out code, checking in code, this is probably not what you want. Certainly was not conducive to my work, although I was on vacation. It was fine for streaming video. And this is taken from the bedroom. The other room had better internet connectivity, um, probably about 10 points each as far as better connectivity. Like I said, perfectly fine for vacation, maybe not good for work. So there's the main entrance from the inside. You put your shoes here. One of the things I really liked about this Airbnb, it has a code for the door so you don't have to worry about finding or losing a key. Uh, I see they change any time. Then you go through this main curtain which separates you from the rest of the household. And you've got basically three rooms in this closet that it kind of overlooked where the hair dryer and a quick heater was. Wish I would have known about that earlier. My own bad for not looking about. So here is the bedroom. This is the master bedroom. Let's go on in. It's hardwood floors. It's got a fairly comfortable queen size bed. A super roomy closet. You put all your suitcase, everything you need hung up in there. It's got an iron and ironing board in there to um, suit your needs. Uh, we found the room fairly comfortable to be in. Uh, it's well lit. I enjoyed the bed. The bed was comfortable. The comforter on the bed was quite warm, which was needed on this particular trip because it was quite chilly in Portland when we were there. I did rather much like some of the artwork they had on the wall too, so I thought I would highlight it here. That little chair is where I did most of my hanging out during the day. Now next you have the cinema room. So this is a multi-purpose room. It's got uh, the spare bed, which is a futon. Uh, my son slept in there. Um, he did not rave about its com how comfortable it was. It's got this nice deck off to the side there that I showed you briefly. And it's got a projection TV, which is obviously quite large in this chalkboard where people have left notes to each other. Do we need a table and some puzzles there left for your use? We did not take advantage of this because we were there in an store, but there's this nice porch on the outside of the house that is shared space that you can use. So, this is also the kitchen. You've got a small fridge here, microwave, that chair that I missed before. Um, you got your basic plates, silverware, everything you basically need to cook in a microwave, a toaster. Um, it was convenient. It had a, we used basically Oil water, made oatmeal, bagels, it was nice for um, easy lunch. I mean, you are near Portland, you want to go out for dinner anyways. So this is the bathroom area. Uh, quite nice if, if you're into baths. It had a nice full bathtub, nice shower, good water pressure, good hot water, uh, soap, shampoo, everything you need in the bathroom. Uh, good facilities, basically. Uh, obviously spare toilet paper. Uh, that trash in the trash can was not there when we moved in. This is a move out video. This is also your dishwashing area. So this is where you'd wash your dishes. So this is kind of, if you're into merino wool, you can take your shower, wash your clothes, and wash your dishes all in one room. Like I said, quite useful. So you can see it's a fairly roomy place with everything you need. If you're looking for just a vacation spot to hang out and go experience Portland, check this place out. We were comfortable there. Uh, one thing we were a little concerned about is we were staying there with our 19-year-old Navy son who has quite a potty mouth. We're worried that his voice would carry into the 
uh, toddler's bedroom and introduce uh, the toddler to do an exciting words. Uh, hope that didn't happen. Uh, the family is right there. They were super helpful. We could just knock on the kitchen door and they would uh, let you use your laundry machine and stuff like that. So uh, it was convenient. And check it out if you're looking for a vacation spot.